There's another highly contagious virus that's continuing to affect the masses with no vaccine and no cure. African swine fever has wiped out millions of pigs in China and across Asia. The disease doesn't affect humans, only pigs, but it has cost billions of dollars. And as of last year, killed almost half of China's domestic pig population. African swine fever spreads quickly, but testing animals for it can take a long time. I spoke to Dr. Jurgen Rick from Kansas State University. He specializes in zoonotic and emerging infectious diseases of animals. Dr. Rick led the clinical study on PenCheck, a brand new rapid test for African swine fever for Silver Lake Research in California. PenCheck is meant to save time, testing time rather, and pigs. There is no efficacious and safe vaccines on the market. And it will be years before we have one. So right now we have only a few possibilities to control this disease. And one important one is biosecurity. Biosecurity is very critical so you don't get the virus into your farms with people, with trucks, with uh, materials which come to the farm and, 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 and cars. And you have to have very high biosecurity. The other very critical um, um, tool to control and hopefully eradicate this disease is diagnostics. And uh, diagnostics is usually done in state laboratories where they do confirmatory tests for African swine fever and other diseases which are very critical for the agricultural sectors like foot and mouth disease, etc. And so it takes a long time usually to have a suspect sample transported from the farm, from the pen side, from the farm side to the diagnostic lab. And then it takes time for this transport of the sample and then time to analyze it. And so we went, um, uh, we thought maybe we have to develop a rapid test which can be used at the point of need, in this ca case, at the, in the pen, in the farm. And that's why this test is called pen check test. And this, che this test can be done on the farm and what you do is you have a vial like this, you add water into this vial and then you add a drop of blood. And when this drop of blood is mixed with the water, you add the strip into the vial and then you wait 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes you take it out and you read whether this test is positive or negative. It's a very simple visual readout. Once one lane, you know the positive control work, works. If you have two lanes, it's both the positive control and that sample you were testing was also positive. So it's a very simple rapid test. So it's an issue of time. The faster you can test your pigs, the faster you know, then you can save the rest. Is that correct? That's correct. However, these results still need to be confirmed by a, a laboratory which does the confirmatory test. Because sensitivity of, and specificity of confirmatory, confirmatory tests are usually higher than these uh, point of care or point of need rapid tests. Is this a game changer? It could, especially if you have uh, uh, long distances between the, the farm and the diagnostic labs where it takes hours or days to, um, to, to, to before you have a confirmatory diagnosis. It can be a game changer. How concerned are you with the current spread of African swine fever given that the world's attention right now is on coronavirus? So the world's attention in, in, in terms of human diseases is on coronavirus right now. But the world's attention in terms of animal diseases is on African swine fever right now. So uh, both of these diseases uh, are present in China. So this is uh, obviously, these are very hard times for Chinese agricultural systems as well as public health. Dr. Jorgen Reck, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Elian.